Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another PyQt5 tutorial video. My name is Jay. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use QStack widget to rotate different widgets. So here's the demo that we'll be creating. So inside my window on the bottom, I have two push buttons, previous and next. And these buttons are actually grouped into one widget. So since this window has two containers, one container on the top is a widget and the other two buttons on the bottom belongs to a different widget. And if I click on next, so here I can rotate different widgets around. So if I click on previous, and I'll go back to the previous widget window. And I'll be creating these effects using the QStack widget. So I'm going to import the libraries first, and let me make the fonts a little bit bigger. From the Qt widgets module, I'll import Q application, Q widgets, Q push button, Q line edit, Q radio button, Q stack widgets. And for the layouts, I'll import Q feed box layout and the uh, edge box layout. And from the Qt core module, I'll input the Qt class. So I'll start by uh, creating my app demo class. And I'll pass the Q widget class as the parent class. Next, I'll create my main layout object. It's equals to Q feedbox layout. And next, I want to create my stack widget uh, instance. So I'll call the instance uh, self.stack widget. Is equals to Q stack widget. Now I need to create three separate widgets to add to the uh, stack widgets object. So here let me just quickly create my app uh, Q application instance. And I'll name my uh, app demo instance as demo. And outside the app demo class, I'll create three separate uh, classes. And each class represents its own widget. So the first widget is going to have a list of buttons. And I'll name this class widget buttons. And I'll pass the Q widget class as the parent class. And inside this class, I'll create a layout object. And it's going to be a vertical box layout. Now I want to insert four buttons uh, to my widget buttons class. So here I can write loop for i in range four. I want to add uh, four buttons to the layout object. And for the caption, uh, let's see, so let's do button number followed by the the i value. <clears throat> okay. And I'll make a copy of this class template. And I'll make a copy twice. And for the second class, I'll make this as uh, line edits. So I have uh, four line edits inside uh, this class. So I'll name this class widget widget, widget, line edits. And I'll just replace the, the push button with a Q line edit class. And we name the caption uh, line edit. And this one will be radio buttons. And I'll replace the push button with a Q radio button class. And I'll name the caption radio button. Right, so we have our three individual uh, widgets created. Now let's go back to the app demo class and we need to add those widgets to our stack widget uh, object. So I'll reference the stack widget object and to add a widget, I'll use the add widgets method and I'll provide the object name. So in this case, I can just directly uh, 
create my class instance inside the app widget method. So the first one will be the buttons. And I'll make a copy two more times. And this one will be uh, line edit. And this one will be and this one will be uh, radio buttons. I'm going to make a note here. So this one will be index zero, index one, and index two. Now I need to create my buttons. So here let's create my previous button. And next button. And I'll create my uh, button layout. It is going to be a horizontal box layout. And I'll add those two buttons to my button layout object. And this will be button next. Now I'm going to reference the main layout object dot add widget. I'm going to add the stack widget to my main layout. And also add the button layout to my main layout. And here I'll set the layout with the main layout object. Now let's just take a look at uh, the application. So we have a typo. Oh, so let's see. Feedbacks. Oh, this should be capital L. And here's another typo. Alright, so I send that to fix it. Okay, so here's our window. And I noticed that my widgets are missing. Here, let me take a look. Oh, so I, I see I know why. So for each class, I forgot to set the layout. And let me fix that right now. All right, now we have the UI created and we need to uh, implement the, the function or method to the buttons. So right now if I click on the previous button or the next button and the widget is not going to rotate. So here let's go back to the app demo class. We'll create two methods to link to those buttons. The first method is going to rotate the widget forward. And I'm going to name the method next widget. And inside the next widget method, I'm going to type self dot stack widget dot set current index. And to get the current index, we'll reference the stack widget dot current index. And because we want to rotate the three widgets uh, all together. We need to make sure that we only have uh, three different uh, values that rotates uh, all together. And to do that, so I'm going to take the current index uh, value, plus one. I'm going to insert a uh, parenthesis around uh, this statement. I'm going to get the remainder by dividing the uh, value by three. And close parenthesis. Now I'm going to make a copy of this method and I'll rename the copy to previous widget and still uh, plus one, I'll make that minus one. Now let's go back to the buttons. Now I need to link those methods to my buttons. So this one will be previous button dot click dot connect and I'll supply the uh, previous widget method and for the next button I reference button next dot click dot connect and I'll supply the next widget method and that's it. Now let's just give it a try. So if I run the application and if I click on next and I'll rotate to the next widget and if I click on next again and I'll rotate to the radio buttons widget. 
and we know the radio button widget is the last widget. So if I click on next again, and that will take us back to the uh, the first widget, which is the push button widget. So this is I want to share in this video, and hopefully you guys found the video useful. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.